Hi everyone! Thank you for coming back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're brand new. And tonight I have an interesting little haul for you. Um, here's the items that I got. Let me explain to you what it is. The store that I work for was recently bought out by another big company and changed names. They went through the shelf and pulled a bunch of products off the shelf. Either items that they're no longer going to carry or they're replacing with a similar type of item. But they marked these down at a deep discount. So tonight when I got off work, I went through the baskets and found some items that I use on a regular basis. Uh, not the meat. The meat was not in the baskets. The meat is discounted. As you can see right here, it's a manager special. Uh, my manager makes the homemade sausage there. And I don't know at, at the end of the day or whatever it is, every day or every other day or whatever, they discount it. But this uh, package of meat was actually $2.99, so $3, you might as well say. And uh, he caught, cut it in half, so I actually got it for $1.24. And it looks like it's about almost a pound and a quarter. I've never tried it before, so I don't know, but I had several customers come in there one day when we were sold out looking for it, and they said that it was really good. So I thought, well, I'm going to get it since it's a pretty deep discount. So let me show you what I've got here, and I'll explain to you why. Garbanzo beans. Now, I've never had these. Uh, some people call them chick beans, I think. Chickpeas? Is that what they call them? Anyway, I have found a recipe online for taking these things and toasting them in the oven, and it kind of makes it like a, like a popcorn little treat. So I thought, well, it was discounted to 47 cents from regularly 95. So I thought, well, for 47 cents, I'm going to give it a whirl. I don't even know if I like garbanzo beans, but I thought I'd try it for that price. Uh, there was like four cans in there. I only got one, and I'm going to hate it if this turns out to be the really delicious recipe, and then I wished I would have bought all of them, because they'll definitely be gone by the next time I get back. Then I found uh, Family Care brand Anti-Acid and Pain Relief for 50 cents. Uh, looks, to, looks like it was regularly a dollar, maybe. But all in all, when you consider that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. Only eight tablets in there. Uh, power Stick Deodorant. Now, I have tried these Lady Power Stick Deodorants. They're very similar to Secret. And this was the Shower Fresh scent. You can actually buy these at the Dollar Tree, but not for 50 cents. So that's why I got that. And this is a brand I've never heard of. Savory Collection, Fat-Free Ranch Dressing. Um, there's a recipe that I use that has uh, French dressing in it, and I don't really care if it's fat-free or regular fat, whatever, because I only paid 50 cents for it. And these, this is not an expirated item. The expiration date on it is September 28th of this year. I don't know if you can see that or not on there. Probably not. But the expiration date is September 28th of this year. So that's still good for quite some time. There's probably an expiration date on this too, but I'm sure on this one, but I'm sure they've got it taped up. And this one too, they've probably taped over it. And then I found a flavor of Kool-Aid that I've never tried. Pina Pineapple. I do drink Kool-Aid every once in a while. I've never heard of this brand, never tried it, but for 16 cents, yes, I will. I'll let you know how it tastes, y'all. And this little thing right here, I thought this was kind of cute. It's a party fun activity book. It's got connect the dot, puzzles, finding the words, and more. I think it's just one book, but... Once again, 50 cents. And I actually have got this, for, I've got this in mind for somebody special. That's why I got it, for 50 cents. Uh, can't even, I mean, you can buy toys all day long at the Dollar Tree, but not for 50 cents. So all together on these discounted items, one food, well, actually, one, two, three, four, four food items. One, two, 
one, two, three, four food items, and three non-food items. My total was, for all this stuff, $5.22. Now, I think that's a pretty good bargain. You guys might not agree with me, but I think I did pretty good. And I was kind of excited because those barrels that they had this stuff in, they are not empty. They had them stacked four high. So you could not get into the three underneath on the bottom until the stuff in the top was emptied out. So as they empty that, there might be even some better stuff down in the bottom. So I'm definitely going to be checking back over in, in those uh, barrels on nights that I work and seeing how far they get down in there to see what kind of goodies so that's it for this haul hope you guys found this interesting because i sure enjoyed finding all these bargains and uh thank you for visiting with me and y'all come back and see me any old time bye now